All right, so are you ready for the truth about credit cards and its rewards? You know, I get these in the mail all the time and I'm constantly enticed to get more and more credit cards. And sure, we've all heard about the benefits of earning rewards and maximizing your spending with credit cards, but they haven't told you the dark secret about owning credit cards. And that's why I'm here. In this video, I'm gonna reveal the truth, the real benefits, and only five cards that you'll ever need in your wallet to save you from the debt trap. But be warned, these cards might not be what you expect, and it's time to separate facts from fiction and discover the real secrets to financial hacking. All right, let's start with your first card. It's your daily workhorse card. Just like in basketball, you need a card that's gonna be the go-to for scoring. Think of players like LeBron James, Stephen Curry, or Kyrie Irving. They're the ones who always come through in the clutch. And for credit cards, there's American Express Gold, which is one of the best starting out there. Now here's why. It's got great multiplier that'll help you score big, and you'll get four times back on dining, four times back at US supermarkets, up to 25,000 spent per year, and three times back on flights booked directly with airlines or on Amex travel, and also four times points on your ads. If you run Facebook ads, if you run Google ads, that's phenomenal. I use it all the time for many of my businesses. I have multiple cards like this and the points just keep racking up. You also get a lot of credits that can help you offset the cost. For example, you get $120 in dining credits. That'll work at places like Cheesecake Factory and Shake Shack. Oh, I love Shake Shack. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just can't get enough of Shake Shack, especially the cheese fries with the bacon bits on top. And you'll also get $120 in Uber cash. That can be used for both dining and rides. Just keep in mind, all these credits are broken down into $10 a month, so you don't use them, you lose them. But with the $250 fee, minus $120 for dining and the $100, $120 for Uber, the effective annual fee is just 10 bucks. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me, of course, if you shouldn't adjust and necessary if you don't use a specific service. And when it comes to redeeming American Express points, they're great for aspirational travel where you can typically get two cents or even more per point. And in fact, with the American Express gold multiplier, you can get an effective value of 8% and it can be a bit complicated, but basically you earn American Express points, transfer them out to a partner like Singapore, and then redeem that partner, or you might transfer your points to a partner like Virgin and book a flight with them. Just note that the target value of two cents per point is not guaranteed. You might get like one cent per point or even 10 cents per point, but it's not always the case. You need to understand that these rewards are mostly designed for business purposes and might not suit everyone's needs. There are some situations where you can get a good deal, but it's not very common when it comes to cash rewards. Like one cent per point, even 10 cents per point, but it's not always that. And it's not very common to find a good deal unless you're willing to jump through a lot of hoops. Now, number two, let's talk about your specialist player. The guy who's meant to shut down the best score on the other team. For this, I recommend the C Custom Cash Card. With this card, you can get 5% back up to $500 in spending per cycle on your highest spend category. That includes restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, select travel, select transit, streaming, drug stores, home improvement stores, fitness clubs, live entertainment. It's really a no-brainer and a lot of people use this card strategically as a card to fill in the weak spots. Even if you have an Amex Gold, it still makes sense to get this card. Worst case, it's still a cash back card and 5% cash back on categories like gas is a no-brainer. Just remember, it's technically thank you points and if you have the Premier, you can actually do the transfer partner stuff. So 5% is technically 5x, which might be 10% depending on how you want to use the points. Now, let's Let's talk about the third card, which is essential in your wallet. It's the defensive anchor. Now, it's like Marcus Smart of the NBA, Nick Bosa of the NFL, and Casimiro of football, all combined in the world of cards. This card is your catch-all for everything else, and my favorite pick is no other than the City Double Cash. Simple and scalable. You get 2% back on everything you spend, 1% when you make the purchase, and 1% 
when you pay it off. And since you're paying off cards, effectively it's 2% back. Two cents per point, that's what you're getting here. Plus, if you have the city premiere, you can transfer your points to partners and get more value. And that's what I'm all about, value. Now, number four on our list is gonna be your go-to for all things travel. Now, I know it doesn't fit in with a lot of your cards, but the Venture X card from Capital One is the one you want to have because it's got some pretty amazing benefits and that you don't want to miss out on. With the Venture X, you get two times miles back on everything. Yup, on everything. And plus you get 10X on hotels through Capital One tra Travel and 5X on flights through Capital One Travel. And it's really a no-brainer. The annual fee might be a little steep at $395, but trust me, it's worth it. You get $300 annual travel credit, you get a 10,000 bonus miles every year for starting on your first anniversary in year one. And now let's talk about where it gets interesting. The intro bonuses is pretty sweet and the long-term benefits are even better. The 10,000 points are worth at least a hundred bucks and the $300 travel credit is a nice bonus also. So now let's talk about number five. This is your spark plug, your energy guy off the bench when the rest of your cards are taking a break. It's Patrick Beverly and it's not like any other card where you have to spend money to get value. This one is more about saving you money than other costs. It's like a backup travel card that you don't really spend on but gives you perks. If you fly, it will probably be your main airline and if you stay in hotels, it could get you a free night. So what card is this? Well, you heard about it, the Chase United Explorer card. It does come with a $95 annual fee, but it also comes with some nice perks. The primary card holder, one companion traveling on the same reservation can get their first standard check bag for free. That's a savings of $35 per person or 140 bucks for both of you. Now, if you're interested in learning more about credit cards, leave a credit card emoji in the comments. Let me see if we get tons of requests and we might be able to do another one. Remember, being strategic with all your cards and finances can help you save a ton of money and make a big difference in the long run.